Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to today's video. So today I thought that I would do for you all, because I do not have an unboxing, um, a what is in my whips video for you. So what whips do I have on the go? So whips stand for work in progress. Um, so I class work in progress as anything that is being kitted up and is not yet complete. So I say it's the stuff that's being kitted up simply because um, that is like the start of your your piece, your diamond painting, um, and that is part of the process for me. So it is a work in progress. So I'm going to show you all the paintings that I've kitted up because I have some. They've been kitted up, I want to tell you, for a very, very long time. And you may have completely forgot, because I almost did. Um, so this is the first one that I've got on the go. This is my custom doggy painting. So this might be the first time you've seen it. Um, for for a while, and up close, and you can see it all. Um, I do have an Instagram where I share where I do like a row. So when I completed like this row of my dogs, I put it on Instagram. But Isabel is nearly done, and I tell you what, you can see a little face. It's so cool. The only thing I'm a bit weird about is this this dark bit here. But I think that's because when this picture was taken, sometimes when she gets shaved, you can really see her skin. And it looks worse actually, um, like looking at it close and personal. I think a lot of people say this about, especially pictures of dogs when they see the weird colours. But look how good that looks from afar. I'm just looking at it, my camera screen right now and it looks so good. It looks exactly like the image. I love, I love it. I can see my little belly. I actually do have um, some little gaps of this. I've not quite finished this section yet. Um, and there's Charlie's face, the start of it. We get into a mucky jowls down here. Um, and like even even this, it looks a bit weird like when you're doing it um, and all the background um, when you're just placing the drills. But I can clearly see that's the bin in the background. Um, our recycling um, like compost bin. So that is my doggy picture. I did think I would show you guys all the storage that I'm using for each one as well. So it's going to be... A super super short video um, and I also need to just double check that I have an accurate account of what I've got in what storage um, so I can do that after if I get everything out so for the custom uh, doggy painting these are just the sheets that go I put them on uh, the bottom when I finished a row just in case because when you roll it up they get a bit tatty um, so I keep them out, but this is the Elizabeth Ward storage, um, and I've just added extra pots, I've got extra pots for stuff, so it comes with 42 in it, but I have 45 colours in this one, so they are all there, so that is my first whip, and that is the one I'm working on currently on a weekend, so I do a bigger one on a weekend because they're big sections and I can sit down and I can try and do a lot of it. So I'll just move that to the side. The next really, really current whip that I've got um, and has a section, has a couple of sections out because I don't know why, I decided it was just good if I could just do that, 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 like that. Now I'm really, really close to finishing. Um, but this is Simba and Nala um, from, uh, it says it on the storage DIY choose um so this one is also a square I forgot to say the doggy one is a square this is also a square drill it actually looks once again really really good on the camera screen um because it's zoomed out you know this is the distance that we want to be seeing our paintings um but it's a bit of a pain to work on the sticky is really really like slidey it doesn't have the the really good tack like the other one does um, so they're really sliding and they're not quite as nice fitting diamonds as the doggy painting from Diamond Den I should actually say where I've got everything from that one's from the Diamond Den um, this one like I said is from DIY Choose and like I say the, the drills aren't just 
they're just not quite as good. If um, I was to turn on the light pad now, a lot of these would look a bit wonky, but I am OCD, so they are as straight as I could possibly do it for these ones while still trying to get it done in a reasonable time because it would stress me out. Um, I'm trying to think what else I was going to say. But yeah, when you turn, like, this is the one thing I do want to mention about diamond paintings, is like, if you are OCD and you really, really want them to be perfect, when they're done it doesn't make a difference. And it still looks really good, but look at that shine. So, I am hoping to finish this one this week and move on to another little small 30 by, th 30 by 40 or 30 by 30. Um, that's also a thing I need to be saying. The doggies was a 50 by 50. This is a 30 by 40, but not a true size one. This is one where you have to take off about five centimeters of each. Um, so it's it's more like a 35 by 25. Uh, so the storage I'm using for this, so similarly, we've got the little squares, but to be fair, I could get rid of these now because I am all covered. Um, so I might do that, I might put them away. And um, this is the Harbour Freight container system. So they're all individual boxes, um, like this. And it has in it 24 colours, which is a full box of these, these whole 24. Um, you can have seen some people like push these to one side and you've got that little gap and they can put another couple of boxes so if you wanted if you had multiple of these you could do a painting of maybe up to 26 all in one storage system or other people do things where they get bigger boxes and then just get loads of these and just put the little bits in or some just have multiple boxes for a painting um, I don't like doing that so I use these for smaller paintings, especially when they have blocks of colour because there'll be a lot of drills um, for each colour in these but it only has a small amount of boxes in it. So that is what I use for that one. Okay, so they're the two that I've got on the go at the moment and then the other ones are ones that I have hung up in my wardrobe. So I'll do the ones that have already started and I'll be continuing with them straight after I finish the doggy one. So, the first one is um, Shine On uh, by Lizzie Falcon from Treasure Studios Arts. Now, I absolutely um, adore this. It's, it's so different. It's full crystal rhinestones. Um, so, if I just show you, they are all crystal rhinestone gems. They are in... DMC number um, but I have it rolled up and realistically I should actually unroll it because it looks like it's starting to get a bit crumpled which I don't want um, it is mounting adhesive this one as well so I might unroll this um, I think I, I didn't, I tried to keep it rolled the way it was in the box, so actually, is it better off to be rolled up? I think maybe so, but just squished out a bit. Um, so it's, it's rolled backwards, if you can see. Now this is, so like I said, it is crystal rhinestones, so they're round crystal rhinestones. It's a 50 by 65, a true one. Um, it's from Treasure Studios Arts and it is really good to work on. I've got the smaller sections for this one. Um, but I really, really like it and it'll look fabulous when it is done. So this will probably be the one that I work on straight after the doggies and try and get it finished. That would be my goal. Oh yeah, and the storage for that one is also the Harbour Freight. Um, container system so uh, this has 22 colours in it I use my own stickers um, to tell me what it is so that says it's 
shine on 50 by 65 centimeters from Treasure Studios Arts and it's in crystal rhinestones and um, so once again they are really really good parts they hold a lot this one is definitely one where it doesn't have as many colors but has a lot of each color um, and I do actually have some uh, spares that I just keep in the Treasure Studio Art this was the um, toolkit bag but I take stuff out so the one that we've got the most of and that isn't all of them is 742 um, but I do wait until I have finished the box uh, of what I've got in the box before I um, put more in it so they are like the biggest ones I've, I'm nowhere near finished with that 3811 I also have spares of and then 762 and 726 um, I have spares so I leave them in the baggie but to be honest I just do that because I like the bag but you could maybe this one you would probably have a bit of an issue with keeping it all together um, but most of the time with this storage you could just fit them down the side if you have leftover diamonds but that is how I store this ready to work on so that's that one um, so the next one that I've already started working on and the last one that I already have drills on the canvas let me just take it off of the hanger this is a nice big one this is Luna Moth from Prism Diamond Paint. This looks so good. It does, it really looks amazing. It is a 70 by, is it 90, 70 by 100. So it's huge. Um, and like I said, it is from Prism Diamond Paintings. Um, and it is in square as well. So we've got square, it's Prism, it's 70 by 100 and it is great it's huge um it has in it 48 colors and i do this one in the big uh cover sheets sections i do it five across and i've got about 14 that i need to go down i've only done about two rows of this because it was it was one of them it can be a bit confetti um, like around here this is very confetti I like doing the sides where it was all one colour I got them done really really quickly um, but I did really enjoy working on this one I just needed a break from it being so huge and I just did Fuji Flora and finished that and then this came in the post and the idea and I do have to apologise to Prism because I was meant to be getting it done quite quickly but it was the end of the holidays for me I went straight into teacher training and I just didn't get around to doing it and it is a lot a lot a lot so I do have to apologize so I didn't get around to it but when I finish shine on I will be sticking with this one on my weekends and that one will probably take me a while and if I do get fed up again because it is taking so long I do have another two kitted up which are all square also so I'm no three kitted up sorry one's really big though um, and they're all square as well so once I get through this one I'm hoping like the little ones I do during the week are all going to be round maybe I'm going to purposefully make sure that they are round um, because well there's so many um, so let me show you the storage for this one it's at the bottom annoyingly of my little storage shelf which I will show you guys on a, on a craft room tour when I get round to it you can watch all the kitten ups for these as well if like, you wanted to see more of what I'm saying um, this one oh my goodness this one with the um, static was horrendous to kit up um, I just think it was because I literally kitted it up as soon as it got to me so it came straight to them from their warehouse 
they got it straight out in the post to me and then I kitted it up straight away. I find that in the UK that if you don't kit them up straight away, you can get the static to settle a bit. Like if I look at the bags now, I reckon they'll be more settled because I do have a lot, a lot, a lot of uh, extra spares in this. Oh, saying that. Sometimes I think as well it can be the bags that they use. They are still very jumpy. I have all these extras that I couldn't get into the boxes. It's ridiculous. So what I actually might do while I've got this out today, before I put it away, I have dryer sheets now. Um, because I'm a big girl, I have my own house and I have to buy um, cleaning products. <laughs> so when I went to buy my um, laundry items, I picked up some dryer sheets. I was like, I need them for damp paint, but they're downstairs. But I may actually put a dryer sheet in all of these bags. And then that's a good test as well because I've never used them. So we could see if they actually work. Once again though, this is like the heart, this is the, um, sorry, I got these from Who Can. Um, everywhere does them now. They're basically the knockoff Elizabeth Wards. You can tell by the handles. However, this was the first storage that I got. The Elizabeth Wards are quite difficult to get in the UK. I find they're not always available on the likes of Amazon. But the knockoffs, Prism actually do um, these. And my mum has these from Prism. They're identical to what I got from AliExpress from Who Can. So. I would recommend checking out Prism because you can get them really, really fast for like the same price. So, um, cause they do, if it's in stock, in their UK stock, they'll get them sent out the, the next day and they'll be with you in a couple of days. It's amazing. That's if you live in the UK. If not, like I said, they do them on AliExpress. So equally you could do that. This is so heavy, this storage, because they are full to the brim. Um, but I do want to get this done. I think this is a really nice painting, so I'm excited to do it. It's just, sometimes you get stressed out if paintings aren't coming along and aren't getting finished and you just feel like you're working on it forever. So sometimes we need, we all need a break. Um, so I needed a break from this. And I think I just want to get a few of the smaller ones finished and put away so they're not always hanging looming. Because I just, at the moment, as you can see, I'm not even all the way to all of my whips that I've got on the go. And I've already got four. So it can get very, very stressful, I think, um, having so many. So I'm trying to get the smaller ones done because I can get them done quicker and get them away. And then get the stress off my head. Um, but that one is Luna Moth from Prism. So we'll move that to the side, or barely to the side, because it's huge. Now this one is one I have had kitted up for donkeys, absolute donkeys. And I need to get around to doing it, but equally it is a big one. So this, ba -ba -da 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 -da. Uh, I keep it in the bag, because it comes in a bag. It is La Porta Rossa Sola Salita um, by Gaudo Borelli, or Gaudo Borelli, or however you say his name. It is from Dreamers Designs, and it is one that the wonderful, absolutely amazing Val, uh, who I need to talk to again, because we used to talk like daily, but. I've been so busy, sometimes it just slips, but I'm just rolling it back to so see if you can get it flat. This, the just about fit sideways on my screen, you can't see all the way to the bottom, is uh, from Dreamers Designs. It is also square. It has 59 colours in it. It is humongous. It is 60... Uh, 80 by 60, 60 by 80, um, and it is a beautiful image, it is stunning, um, and I've had it kitted up for a hell of a long time, but never got round to it. I only kitted it up, I think, in the first place, because Val Bless had just sent it in the bag, and the drills didn't really properly fit, so I wanted to get them kitted up and in a box. Um, 
which I did do. But this is this is it, and it's just it's not even got the this the cover sheets on it because I've not even started it yet. So it's probably on the list of the ones to do. One of it is the last one still that I want to get around to, but that's why I'm kind of like I don't want to kit up another big painting because I'll never get around to this because it's just with that and Luna Moth, it's like oh my god, I'm going forever um, with these big paintings. So I've just never had the right time to start it, I guess. So that is unfortunate, but I want to get around to doing it. Um, so this has been in its storage, kitted up using my uh, 60 bottle case for zoinks. Um, because like I said, it's been so long since I kitted it up. So, there it is. It's literally just that one that's not being used because it is 59 colours. It comes with the stickers, so everything's really nicely and neatly stickered up. I do have extra spares of this that I had to put in bags myself, although some of them still have full bags of them, but then... Other ones, I just put them in bags that I got with the kit. Uh, the diamonds look great on this. Honestly, I think it will be a lovely painting to work on. It's just big, you know? And I do... I have got quite a lot of big paintings in my stash. I wouldn't say I'm put off by them, but then when you've got them kitted up and you're working on them for a while, you go, oh my God, is this ever going to finish? Um, which is the bit that I don't like. So that is how this one is kept. This is also very, very heavy. Um, but yeah, it's a huge painting. So I am just going to roll this one back up because I get them back. Um, so it comes in. I don't actually know what happened to it. I think it went once and the pink's like, the purple started to run. But I just roll it up and keep it in that bag. Because it's huge. It's even too huge to hang in my wardrobe like that. Although I hang it, I do hang it on a hanger, but I just hang it on the hanger in the bag. I actually hang it on the same hanger this is on. So that's that one. And then, on to the last two. So this, I don't know which order I do these in. Maybe I'd have to flip heads or tails. But the first one is Rainbow Lil Dragon oh, by Sheena Pike from Diamond Art Club. Um, it is the cutest thing ever. And they are now, I think, discontinuing this because they're discontinuing Sheena Pikes. So if you want it, if it's not already gone by buys, um, I'd definitely go on and get it. But it is square again. It has 48 colours in this one. So I have gone for the bottle storage, the 60 bottle storage again for it. It is quite blocky but then got bits of confetti so I am in, like really really looking forward to doing this. Because that just is like my cup of tea. It just looks so cute does it not? Like I am, I wanted to kit this one up so, so 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 badly. So it is there, it's kitted up and I will get around to working on it. It is a 51 by 61 centimetres, like I said, in square. And also, like I said, I've got this kitted up. I only have the three types of storage, um, but I do have different sizes of the bottle storage. I have a 30, a 42, and a 60, but the 42 and the 30 are not being used. The 30 I've just kitted down. That's what People's Princess was in, so... Maybe the next small painting will warrant either of them. Um, but this is Rainbow Little Dragon. So we've got quite a few bottles not being used. They are really, really decent. Um, I do love the bottle storage. Got lots and lots of colours that honestly looks beautiful. Um, when you look at all the colours that's in this painting, it is a pure rainbow. Um, and here are the extras, the spares in this one. I've actually started 
keeping the spares a bit different. So what I do is I just keep the bag that they were originally in. Saves me getting a pen out and writing on stickers um, and just shoving it in a Ziploc bag just in case they come open. I don't really like, some people put tape on them. I just think if I pop tape on them and then they just seep out the sides, that wouldn't be good. So I just put them in a Ziploc bag. And if you're for saving them, you can. I've got a huge pot full of Ziploc bags. So I just pop them in the bin after I've used them. But you can save them if you want. And these ones, Diamond Art Club, have their own stickers. So I use the stickers on the top of the boxes for that. Um, so that's Rainbow Little Dragon. And then the final whip that I have. Oh, I'm tired now. Is... This one it is Biker Betty. So if I just have it so it goes down my gap, I can just roll like that. So you can see it all. So this is Biker Betty. Um, she is also discontinued and completely gone now, I'm afraid. Um, unless you can find her being um, de-stashed de um, on a de-stashing site. She has, she's square, she is 51 by 71 and has 23 colours. Once again, it is my dream of the blockiness with this, but still you get a section. Like if I had this section, I've got the reds, I've got the whites, I've got the yellows, I've got the oranges, I've got the blues, the blacks. So each section, even though it's blocky, has a lot of colours. So it's, it's not like you just do an entire section of black, although this section here, if this was a section, would be very much a lot of work. Uh, so because it's got 23 colours in it, it is the Harbour Freight containers because they hold 24. How good though does this container look with all these colours? It's epic. And even with these big ones, this is this is the epitome of why I like the Harbour Freights. Because you've got only 23 colours, but you have got, I was going to swear then, a ton <laughs> of each colour. So for example, black, this is this box almost completely full and I have still a ton left. White, I have a ton. Do I not have any, uh, oh I do have ABs in this. I have green and blue ABs, but I have a ton of them and I have quite a few greens. So in here, oh, I have loads of the skin colour as well. I literally have so many more black ba bags, so many more red bags, three more white bags and two more skin colour bags all in my spares and what I've done with these boxes because they can, that is like a full damned art for bag, like one that's like full to the brim. So what I do is I literally just put one bag in these so I don't have any of the little extra half open bags because it will fit at least full bag in so that's why I do it like that and I would just I would wait until that went fully down and then I would just open a full new black bag and put it straight in there that's how it would work so that is all of my whips like I said these ones the, the Rainbow Little Dragon by Cabetti and Dreamers have not been started yet um, at all but I would still class them as whips because I've got them kitted up ready to go like they're the next ones I would do before kitting up a new painting um, or a new big one so anyway I got to the end of it thank you so much for liking, subscribing, commenting and of course watching and until next time guys I'll see you in the next one.